Hey you guys, it's Linda. Welcome back to another video. I'm back after two weeks. I haven't been able to film that much because life get in the way and shit happens sometimes. But today I'm gonna go to Nordic Face Awards and the theme is glitter. And I have no idea what to do. I love glitter. You guys know that glitter is probably my favorite thing on earth, but like, I have absolutely no idea what to wear and how my makeup's gonna look like. So I'm thinking that this video, it can be some kind of get ready with me before I go to the Nordic Face Awards. I'm gonna show you my outfit and I'm gonna drink some coffee and I'm gonna chit chat a little bit with you guys like um, what I was doing last week and what I'm about to do next week because next week wow that's gonna be an adventure adventure for sure and uh, I'm gonna vlog about it too I am gonna try for the first time the bear with me hydrating jelly primer from NYX professional makeup it's very like jelly I'm gonna grab I don't have a spatula here so I'm gonna grab a q-tip to pick it up with because you should never ever put your fingers in creamy stuff because that's very that's not very ooh, the the texture is really cool I'm very intrigued maybe I took too much so let's do this primer it feels more like a like a day cream this extends the wear of makeup, blurs the appearance of pores, non-sticky, lightweight feel, refreshed skin and blends seamlessly. And it's infused with aloe and cucumber water-based jelly moisturizers. Yeah, it feels really nice. I would say it's a little bit sticky, but it I doesn't, doesn't bother me that much because I kind of like a little bit like a sticky feeling on a primer. So I don't really care about that, but maybe well, I took a little bit too much. So now to foundation. I'm using my all-time favorite Vision Cream Cover by Danessa Myricks. Uh, this is um, shade N03. It usually works on me. I have been on a festival for four days now and I have catched a little bit of sun, which you can see in my face because my pigmentation here is going crazy. But I think this will match my body pretty well. And this foundation covers up pretty much everything so I don't have to use concealer which I kind of like because the less products the better so what am I supposed to do now next week I am gonna go mountain climbing and I am starting to get a little bit nervous actually like really nervous because as you might know I've, I've done climbing before I've been climbing for a while but mountain climbing and mountain climbing in the Alps in the either Swiss Alps or Italian Alps in the snow on the glaciers on ice am I even prepared for this I, ho I hope so I, I mean I have been skiing a lot of times Ooh. <laughs> a lot of times before and I mean I kind of know what kind of equipment you need to go up there but I've never been on a 4,000 meter summit before so I'm kind of nervous but also very excited because this is like my biggest adventure in life I always wanted to go mountain climbing since I was a kid I guess and then I saw the movie Everest and I just felt like this is my like I really want to do this spoiler alert you know that people they die in that movie I'm not gonna climb Everest yet. It's a, it's a very weird feeling because it's a dangerous thing, but I still wanna do it. And I actually packed my bag already with all my stuff, with like jackets and uh, layer one and two and um, gloves and socks and all kinds of stuff that I need to, to use when I go there. Oh god, I'm so excited. I just need to get me a pair of like glacier sunglasses and some other things that I haven't been, that I haven't bought yet. But I'm gonna do that on Saturday, I think. So I have a lot of things 
on my agenda right now. And usually in the summer, I don't have anything. But this summer, I really wanted to have some, something to look forward to. I'm gonna do powder and I'm gonna do Linda Holberg Cosmetics Infinity Filter in Light. So I'm going full coverage today, which is pretty rare for being me right now. But I think I'm either full coverage or just no coverage at all. I like, I like both. I like that you can change and I like the fact that makeup can change your face and the way you feel so much. I think powdering is done. So I'm gonna do my brows. Um, I'm so embarrassed to show you this guys, but my very, very well used Infinity palette, I don't wanna throw it away because like why, why should I throw it away when I still have a lot left? This is how a palette looks like after a while. So I'm using the shade Cigar to fill in my brows in the front. Have you ever been mountain climbing by the way? Or do you wanna do it? Or like what are your thoughts about it? It would be nice to hear like what do you think about it and do you have any tips for me do you have something to learn do i need to learn something do i need to prepare even more i don't know and then i'm taking a little bit of water i have water in this little cup here so and i'm pinching my brush a little and using fornax that is almost black and then i'm drawing some hairs and also I'm filling in a little bit in the in the front as well. And to not make this video too long, I'm actually gonna do my other brow off camera. To fixate my brows, I have used the Brow Gel Clear Brow Gel. For eyes, I think I'm gonna go dark because usually when I go to events, I tend to do safe things because I'm always in a hurry and I've been working and I've been doing but today I'm actually free well or free I'm filming but I don't have anything to do more than filming and editing a video so I think that maybe I'm gonna go with like a super 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 bold purple glittery eye with uh, Janessa Myrick's color fix uh, in mystery first as a base and then go over with a glitter from also from Janessa Myricks that it called Constellation. No, it's called Twilight. I think I'm gonna start with this and let's see how it goes. I think I'm just gonna cover my whole eyelids or something. I'm also gonna use this under my eyes. I wonder what the others are gonna wear tonight. Usually at Face Awards, people are going all in. I remember, I think it was like, yeah, it was two years ago, the day before. Um, I'm not sure if you know, but we had a fire at our neighbor's like apartment. So our apartment were pretty affected by the fire as well and it was the day before face award and I was in the judge. So I, I really had to be there and you know, all of my clothes were smelling like smoke and I was just devastated and so tired because I had no sleep and I was like in shock and everything was just so, so weird. Cause I woke up from the flames actually from a little power nap I took. And I woke up from this power nap and I was looking outside the window and it was fire coming up and I was like, oh, sh I'm just dreaming. So I, maybe I should go to back to bed. And then I take, took another look and I was like, oh shit, I need to put on some pants and get out of here because it was crazy. To blend this, to make it look a little bit more soft, I will use the Spectral Palette from Linda Holberg Cosmetics and I'm going to use the shades Occult, oh, Occult and Airy. First of all, I'm using Airy just in the, to get a nice blend up to my brow. Always when I wear purple, I remember like how much I love wearing purple. 
I am going to do the fun part now. I'm going to apply glitter and for the glitter, I need a glitter primer uh, and I'm using the NYX Professional Glitter Primer. I think this is the absolute best glitter primer for smaller glitter. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, uh, but I really love this glitter primer. You should definitely try it if you have trouble to make glitter stick on your face. So I'm going to take a little bit on my hand, smudge it out and dab it on where I want my glitter. And I'm going to do one eye at a time. And I want it on my lid and just a little bit like higher up. I'm taking some of my finger and I'm dabbing it on. This is going to be great. This is like so nice, holographic. I love this glitter. Make sure the glitter covers all the glitter primer. And then because I powdered my face before, I can just brush off all the glitters that got on my skin. I don't know how it looks in the camera, but in real life it looks amazing. As my eyeliner, I'm going to use the Suva Beauty Hydra Liner in Grease. It's a black like cake eyeliner and I'm going to mix it with some water. I'm just going to do a little eyeliner because I think it's easier to apply false lashes when you actually have a little liner all right i will put on some mascara i can actually hear taro snoring out there he's so cute because sometimes he snores and for my lashes i'm gonna use from this is a pretty new brand to me um it's, they call Supernova Lashes. They are vegan and cruelty-free and they come in these, it's a British brand. They come in the these like super tiny boxes, which I think is really nice. So it's no waste of box. And then they come in this little round thing. This model is called Capricorn and they are very fluffy. These are like 3, 3D lashes shorter on the inside and longer on the outside so you get a really nice almond shaped eye and that's what i want today so i'm just gonna find my lash glue somewhere like my makeup table is a mess it's always a mess because i can't keep it clean i don't know how people do it it's like when i'm in the mood i want to create now and i don't want to wait and i just like throw things all over the place and then the mess happens and it's like really really messy and I can't find anything and I know I had my lash glue yesterday let's do this I think these are fine maybe I need to cut them I don't even think I need to cut them I need to cut them a little bit usually I cut all my lashes to fit my eye so I'm actually excited about tonight it's gonna be fun and I wonder who's gonna win I like when they are not too you know upwards because I feel like the eyeshadow kind of disappears now this is way more up than this so I need some highlighter and I'm gonna go with my infinity palette and use the shades Virgil and Milky Way, I'm gonna mix those two because that's what I usually do. And then I will go for some contour and I will mix Cigar and Mafe and maybe a little bit of Swiki as well to get a little warmth in there. I have to say that I'm actually very bad at contouring my own nose. I think it's really hard when I try it just looks really weird and contouring others noses sure but when it comes to my my own nose I don't really get it and then I will go for some blush and I think I'm gonna use pinwheel that is also very cool toned and my makeup is pretty cool toned today so I'm gonna go for a cool toned blush so I guess I only have my lips left so for my lips i'm gonna use nyx professional makeup this is have not been opened before so i'm gonna open it now 
they have a slip tease lip lacquer that is called motel dreams i think this one will be really good um for this look these are very full coverage and you don't need a lipstick underneath i think i will use something in the inner corner that is more shimmery and i think i know exactly what i want i am gonna go with Janessa myrick's uh, artisanal pigments and daydreaming this was one of my absolute favorite products before i haven't been using it in a long time now but this is a this is a beautiful beautiful pigment i'm gonna use it on the inner corner like a lot I think I will use the glitter primer once again just to get it to stick there. I just want it a little bit of everywhere. I don't care if I spill or if it happens to like fall on my cheeks or anything because I think this is a beautiful, beautiful pigment and I want it to be everywhere. Okay, this lip is not it. I'm not going to wear this lip. I'm going to wear something lighter, I think. I, do you notice that I always change my lip color? I will probably change like 100 times during the night as well. When I'm doing this video, it's like 10 in the morning. I want like this color. Anyway, I'm gonna spray on some Age to Glow from Linda Holbrook Cosmetics just to set my makeup and get some more glow. I'm gonna glaze myself. I'm gonna go see if I can find some clothes and see if I can match this makeup. I'm gonna keep my lips as they are right now and then I'll see what I'm gonna do with them later because right now I have no idea. But let's go find some clothes. So what I'm thinking here is to have this oversized, very full of cat hair blazer on top of a really cute bra with the glitter hearts that blazer is from monkey but it's old so i don't think they carry it anymore and this bra with glitter hearts i think this is also from monkey it is that's really cute and um also i have these velvet pants from nelly these are also very full of cat hair they're they're very very hairy they're pretty thick so i will probably be super warm but they look, I think they look cute. And the belt is from Big Buck with a, like a shiny belt. And then like a bunch of jewelry for this. And I'm gonna put it on and show you guys what it looks like. So this is what the outfit looks like. Woo! Actually, I've never worn these pants before because I didn't like them, but, but now I feel like for this outfit, they're okay. And I think I will wear a hat and we'll just have my hair like this, like I usually do. The thing is that probably I will change my mind 500 more times before I go. I need to put a lipstick on. You know what? I'm just gonna put on a gloss for now because I just can't decide what I'm gonna wear. I think I think I'm gonna end this video now because I, I feel like I don't go... I just keep moving around, I can't decide on anything and at least you got a little glimpse on how my eyes are gonna look like, what I may be gonna wear, <laughs> that, but I'm not sure about, but at least you got to hang with me for a little while today and I hope you thought it was fun. Next week I'm gonna go climbing so there will be no video but I am going to film the whole thing. I'm going, I'm going to vlog my whole experience. I'm gonna post that as soon as I am done and when I get back home. And I'm very excited about that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video even though I might seem a little just I don't know anything today don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click like on the video and I'll see you guys again next week bye